everybody, today's Monday, May 7th. And I just made some coffee, because I got to explain a couple things. First off, let me apologize. Before this video, it's what, 9 o'clock at night? Uh, before this video, I just I uploaded one. It was about a 10 minute video. And I realized it had some errors in it. So I deleted it, but about 10 or 15 people saw the video before I deleted it. And I got some emails, and I totally agree with their point of view, and I understand where I was wrong. So first off, I apologize to those people. Let me explain what happened. So first, the good news is that we sold out of the 300 Forest Fen Searcher coins. It took three days, and they all sold out. So what I did is I upped the order. I'm now going to get 600 Forest Fen Searcher coins. So there will definitely be plenty for everybody who wants one. The issue came up is that everybody who's uh, paid up to this point was under the impression that their sequence numbers would be from 1 to 300. I wasn't thinking of the people who have paid the regular price and said, I don't care what sequence number I had. They have. I wasn't thinking that they're still, they don't care what sequence number they get, but they're still under the impression it's going to be under 300. And it is, because that's what I said it was going to be. I just was thinking, if they don't care what sequence number they get, then they don't care if they get 300, 400, between 500 and 600. But that might not be the case, right? Because when this thing started, the numbers were between 1 and 300. So for those of you who have paid, and have paid the regular price, not the drawing, because you don't care what sequence number you get, do you care if you get above sequence number 300? That's the question. And I'll email each of the people and ask them. But when I first made the video that was uploaded prior to this one, it didn't occur to me that those people may be expecting a sequence number under 300, which is understandable because that's how this thing was set up. There's only going to be 300 coins. So what that means is the drawing is now closed because we have reached the 300 coins. There are 172 people in the drawing. The drawing is now closed. Do not send $15 you will not get in the drawing. I've disabled actually the PayPal link and I'll open it up again tomorrow, but I want to give, make this video, upload it, post it everywhere so everybody has a chance to see that the drawing is officially over. If you didn't get in, I apologize. The run, the initial run was only for 300 coins. What am I going to do? If I let there be 300 entries for the drawing, well then all those people that paid money not caring what sequence number are now bumped over the 300 mark. And I don't know if that's an issue or not for them. I'm going to find out. I will email them and find out. So that's my bad. I'm trying to keep this fair. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm trying to keep this fair. I'm trying to keep it random. So I apologize to those couple people that I emailed back and forth going, what's the big deal? Now I understand. Uh, people were in the... Um, expectation it was going to be under 300. So the drawings closed at 172 entries. What that means is I don't no longer have to wait until Sunday, May 19th, was it? May 20th to do the drawing. I can do the drawing tomorrow. I can do the drawing whenever I get the uh, balls to do the drawing. I need 172 balls. What I may do is get tickets, you know, like actual raffle tickets. I may just buy a roll of raffle tickets, rip off the first 172, put them in the jar and pull them that way. So the YouTube live video is coming. I'm not going to wait till Sunday. I want to get the drawing out of the way and let people know what sequence numbers they're getting before the coins ever get here. So that way when the coins arrive, I can just work on shipping and getting them out. I can get the labels ready. I know who's getting what and it'll go that much quicker. Okay. So I'll try and give you some heads up on when the YouTube live drawing is. But I mean, it may be tomorrow night. If I can go find a roll of raffle tickets somewhere out here in Vegas, I can go pick them up, put them in the bowl and just do it. You don't have to watch the YouTube live video live. It's going to be posted. You can watch it whenever you want. It doesn't change the outcome. So I don't want anybody to get upset that you said the drawing was going to be on Sunday and now it's not. It's the same outcome. It doesn't matter if it's on Sunday the 20th or if it's tomorrow, okay? Because now the drawings are closed. For those of you, now it goes the other way to keep it fair. For those of you who have wanted sequence numbers above 300, and there have been some, Will there be a separate drawing for the numbers from 301 to 600? At this point, I don't know. I want to handle the first drawing first. I want to get those coins in. I want to get those shipped and done. Um, 
I don't know if we should do a drawing for 301 to 600. Let me know what you guys think. Email me or put it in the comments down below. Um, I don't want it to turn into a headache. What I may just do is first come, first serve. I know the order of every order I've gotten by my PayPal account. I know the very first person who ordered to the person who just ordered a little while ago. So as I do this drawing and I go through, I know the people and the order that they came in. Does that make sense? So there's no issue on, well, I put it in here and I put it in there. I know who ordered. I know who's in the drawing. I know who should get a sequence number below 300. And they will if they want it. So yeah, 600 coins now. First come, first serve. Once I open the PayPal link back up. No more drawing. Do not send money for the drawing anymore. So the only thing available now are regularly priced coins that are a random sequence number. One coin is $13.50. Five coins, $55. That's a discount of $12.50. Ten coins is $110. That's a discount of $25. That includes shipping within the United States. If you live outside the United States and you would like a coin or several, email me your address because I want to get the actual shipping because you're going to have to pay for it. I'm not just going to make up a flat $10 or $15 rate when it could be a lot less or it could be a lot more. Email me your address and I will let you know what the shipping is when the coins come in. The other thing is, you know, I saw the new featured question with Forrest Stenn on Serious Writings. And the question was, how much money has he made off his three books, right? And if you read his answer, the answer is zero. He hasn't made any money off of his three books. The same with these coins. I've had people ask me, what is Forrest Fenn's cut on these coins? Forrest Fenn gets zero from these coins. Well, then Kalazars, where does the money go? I keep the money. I'm selling these coins for a profit. I hope that's clear for everybody. Um, and then I've had the question posed, well, why? Why you? Why do you get to sell a coin? Because one, it was my idea. Because two, I got Forrest Fenn's approval and participation. And three, I'm busting my butt making it happen. I'm selling the coins. I'm taking the risk in buying them. So I get the reward for selling them. So I just want to make that clear. Forrest Fenn is not involved other than he approved it and he did pick the design. And Forrest Fenn is getting coin 001. So Forrest Fenn makes, makes no profit on these coins. The other thing is the issue of confidentiality has come up. I have never in any of my YouTube videos disclosed anybody's name, address, phone number, any of that. Unless they gave me permission to do so. Like uh, if they sent me something in the mail, who they are and where they're from. So on the YouTube live drawing, the only thing I'm doing in that drawing is pulling the numbers so that we know the order people can pick their sequence numbers, which they've sent me. There'll be no first names used. There'll be no names, no telephone numbers. A couple of people have asked that. Some people don't want anyone to know what sequence numbers they get. And nobody will even know you ever ordered because all that's confidential. So you don't have to worry about anything about that. Um, everybody who is in the drawing, you got the entry numbers I have sent those to you already, so you know what balls you have that are in the drawing. If you don't have those numbers, please email me because you should. And the YouTube live drawing is just going to be me pulling numbers, showing you guys, showing the camera, and you'll know the order that these numbers were picked. Then I will go through off camera, through my spreadsheet, assign the sequence numbers, and then I will email you and let you know what sequence number you got. The other thing is... I will not be contacting anyone if all your sequence numbers are taken. There's just too many people. I got, what, 170-something uh, entries. It would take weeks for everybody to respond and to do that one at a time to know what sequence numbers are available. So I will go through your list of sequence numbers. If all of them are taken when your ball is chosen, then you will get the lowest number possible. If anybody wants to add, send me extra sequence numbers between now and when I do the drawing in the next couple days, do that. I'll take as many sequence numbers as you want. Um, if you only have one drawing and you sent me five sequence numbers, maybe you want to send me 10 or you want to send me 20. That's totally up to you. But if all your sequence numbers are taken, you will get the lowest one available at that time. The other thing is, if you want to leave a coin in a search area, which was the original idea when I came up with this, now that we have sequence numbers, you are able to do that. If you want me to, I will keep track of what coins you hide and your email address. And if anybody finds those coins down the road and emails me and says, hey, I found coin number eight, I found coin number 482, I will give them your email address with your permission, of course. Once you get your coins, you decide what you want to do with them. They're yours. 
but I will be a facilitator to try and put two searchers together if that's what you want when you hide your coins out in the field. One, at least tell me if you're hiding the coins out in the field, because I think that's an awesome idea. And uh, you don't have to tell me where. Just, you know, let me know. Yeah, I hit number whatever, whatever. And if somebody contacts me and says, hey, I found number 28 and I was here, I can now look at my database and go, oh, yeah, that person did hide it. Okay, let, I'll put you two in touch. And you can discuss clues and whatever led you to that place or whatever. It's totally up to you. I'm just saying I'm here to do that for you if you want. Okay, think of it as a geocaching log and I'm the log. Another reason I get the profit is because I'm putting this work into it. Okay. So again, apologies for the little bump in the road earlier today. Um, the drawing is closed. Make sure that's very clear for everyone. I will do the drawing. I hope sometime this week. I just have to figure out where to get these tickets or balls from so I can do a, a truly random drawing. So yeah, still taking pre-orders. Make sure that's clear. Still taking pre-orders. And when we go up above 300 or 400, you know, that's what we go to. But now the pre-orders are a random sequence number. You can tell me what you'd like, but there's no guarantee anymore. There is no drawing anymore. Go ahead and tell me the ones you'd like. Let's say, you know, above 300. But I'll decide what you get. And there's no guarantee. So I'll open the link back up tomorrow once I've had a chance to post this video in all the forums and all the blog blogs. I just want to make sure everybody understands that the drawing's closed. I don't want anybody to send me money, $15, then I have to return it to them because, hey, there is no drawing anymore. So, all right, I think that's it. Again, sorry for the confusion. Four spend searcher coins on. We went from 300 coins to 600 coins. That's a good thing. Everybody's going to get a coin that wants one. And think about it, guys. There hasn't even been, this has just been word of mouth. It's been just the people who watch my YouTube videos and then some Facebook um, groups and some forums that I posted them on. So, uh, if I actually get it out there and, and advertise it somewhere, uh, I hope it really takes off. We'll see. Time will tell. Uh, the random drawing will be coming up soon. Like I said, I want to get that out of the way, and I will email everybody what sequence numbers they are getting. That last week in May, I should get the coins in and hope to get them shipped. The other thing is I'm not shipping them all on the same day. I'm not going to the post office with 100 uh, bubble mailers. I may do 20 or 25 a day. But when I send them out, I will let you know they're in the mail when it's your turn. So just bear with me on that. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. That's how you know the details, just like I put in this video. You got to be subscribed. There's a little bell down there. You click that bell and, and click uh, notif notifications. That way you'll be alerted when I upload a video. Uh, like the video if you like the Forest Fence Searcher idea. Tell your friends, you know, Mother's Day is coming up. Uh, actually, the coins won't be available for Mother's Day, but Father's Day is coming up, and the coins will be available for Father's Day. I think it's an awesome Father's Day gift. I'll probably send my father one. Um, it's all about keeping your dreams alive, I think. To me, that's what the coin represents. You're never too old. to Keep your dreams alive. So I will talk to you guys next time, and I'll give you an update, uh, hopefully later on this week, um, on what's going on. And, uh, yeah, I hope to do that YouTube live drawing pretty soon. So, sorry for the confusion, everybody. I'll talk to you next time.